Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video I will explain the problem remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list now this problem is frequently asked by companies like uh, Amazon and Inquit so make sure you watch this video till the end now the problem says that you are given an unsorted linked list of n nodes the task is to remove duplicate elements from this unsorted linked list now when a value appears in multiple nodes then the node which appeared first should be kept and all other duplicates are to be removed now an example is given here let me explain this example so we have a list which is of 5 2 2 and 4 see I will start uh, with the first node and then I will uh, check whether I can include this in my answer or what. So I'll start with the first node, I can include this in my answer, then I have two, I can include in my answer, then I have two again, right? Okay, so this is the case for duplicate nodes, right? And whenever we have dupl duplicate nodes, so we have to consider only the first uh, appearance, right? So I have already uh, considered the first appearance of this node. After this, I'll not include this. Then I'll come to four, I'll f uh, include four in my answer list. So this is going to be my answer, right? Now I hope you have understood the problem well. So let's talk about the solution. Okay, so the solution to this problem is very easy and straightforward. Let me start with the intuition first. So let's say I'm at this position, right? Can I include this in my answer list? So yes, I can include. I am visiting this value first time, right? After this, I'll come to this too. Then I can include this. After this, I'll come to this too. So see, I have already visited this value, so I can't include this value to the answer again. So I need some kind of way so that I can keep track of the visited values. So I'll use a set here, right? Set is going to store all the visited value. And before I add any value to the answer, I'll check whether it's present in the set. So let me store one and two in the set first. So I have already uh, traversed one and two. Then see, when I come to this two, then I can check uh, whether I have visited. Yes, I have visited, so don't include this. After this, I'll come to three. I'll include three in the answer list and then include three in the set as well. Then I'll come to four, include four in the set and then in the answer list, right? After this, I'll come to three again. Three is already visited, right? So don't include three. After this, I'll come to seven. So simply add seven to the answer list and set as well. After this, again seven, so discard this. Now, I can simply say that seven dot next equal to null and this is going to be my answer, right? Now see, in order to solve the problem, we just need two things. The first one is set and then the second thing is answer, right? So now let me write the pseudo code quickly. So see how we can implement this. First of all, I need a set, right? So I'll simply initialize a set. After this, I need an answer list. So I'll say that answer list is initially pointing to a node which is minus one, right? I need this node in minus one because I want to uh, keep track of the last node so that I can append to the end of it, right? Any particular node that I want to append. So I need an answer pointer as well. Uh, it is a kind of tail pointer which will always point to the last node, right? So I'll uh, all, like I'll also explain the dry run in parallel as well. So see, uh, I'll iterate over all the values in the list, right? I'll iterate over all the values. And how we can iterate? I can simply uh, do this particular step like while my head is not equal to null, head equals to head dot next. So this is how we iterate over every possible value in a linked list, right? So before adding any value, I will check if the value is not visited. So if not visited, if not visited a uh, head dot data, right? Uh, inside this if it is not visited then I'll include this in my answer so I'll say that answer pointer so see this is my answer list and answer pointer is initially pointing to the first value so I'll say that pointer dot next answer pointer dot next equals to what equals to the current head node right and along with this I'll move the answer pointer to the next value as well so let's say now one is here so my pointer should point to this value right this is my new uh, like tail so I'll say that answer pointer equals to answer pointer dot next this is what I'll do. And before this, before this step, I have to include uh, my current node in the set as well so that I can keep track of visited. So I'll say that set dot add current node, right? So I'll write current node here, which is head dot data. Now this is all we need to do. At last we can simply return answer dot next, right? Answer dot next. Why answer dot next? Because the first value is pointing to a uh, minus one, right? Node minus one. So this is all we need to do. And now let me show you the code. Okay, so I have written the C++ code on the left hand side, then uh, Python code and then the Java code, right? So you can see here that first of all, I'm traversing the linked list. Along with this, I'm checking whether the value is already visited or what. And we are moving the head pointer right to the next node each time. And see if the value is not visited, then only I will include the value in the answer, right? At last, I need to do answer pointer dot next equal to null pointer. Let me show you why. So you can see here that for the last node, last node, when I say that answer uh, pointer dot next equal to the seven, then seven dot next is actually pointing to the seven, right? So I have to make this null at last. So be so that I can avoid including these elements. Now, let me talk about the com time complexity. So the time complexity for this code is going to be O of n and the space complexity is O of one, right? So you can see here, we are not creating any new node apart from this minus one. We are just manipulating the given nodes, right? So that I can form a list by removing the duplicates. Now, this is all about this video. Thank you. 